Welcome back, fellow armchair generals. This is Gamer1745 with my continuing playthrough of Panzer Corps 2. I hope an exciting one. Okay, Operation Fall Gulp demands two prong invasion of France. Okay, so we're going to go, yeah, you know, rapid blitzkrieg attacks through um, enemy defense needed in Sedan, direct assaults against prepared. Defense is needed in Belgium. We're going to go with Sedan. So we're going to do that. The other one is there. We're going to go through the Ardennes. Okay, apologies for bringing you back to active duty so quickly after your campaign in Norway, but there is a new task that your talent should be perfect should be a perfect fit for yes Norway was still going on when um, you know fall gallop starts but that's at least I'm sorry I don't remember all the dates and everything but that's as I remember it what you're looking at in the idea of Narvik way up in the very north those battles are still going on but in the southern I don't know two-thirds of the country yeah um, they, the British had withdrawn what they could withdraw from there, which was, I think, most everybody, they got out of um, their troops. But the Germans had cleared up the great bulk of the, you know, effective parts of Norway, not the Arctic parts yet. But, yeah. Okay, now, though, the very important part for Germany is Narvik and the supply of steel coming out of Sweden. Okay, apologies for bringing you back, but there is a new task for you. You, that your talent should be perfect fit for yes okay high command has greenlit operation fall gelb and it is aimed squarely at our nemesis france my old friend monstein <coughs> excuse me actually got this daring plan approved by high command personally even overruling chief of staff had their ha okay so oh it's okay just arrows up to there primary objective capture all victory hexes yes we sort of kind of knew that but now it falls on you to execute the plan while diversionary forces strike at Belgium directly and the static defenses of the French Maginot Line sits... Oh. <coughs> Man. Let me get a drink here. Sorry for ruining all this. There we go. Um sits impotently um you need to take your panthers between them both and through the wooded hills of the ardenne forest that will put you in an excellent position to occupy sudan your primary objective okay so that's primary objective is sudan sudan not sudan sudan what's sort of being left out of this the initial attack goes as in this game terms into Belgium now it's also going into the the Netherlands as well there's an old maxim I'm not quite sure how far it goes back and who's sort of the original but he who commits his reserves last wins the battle the war the whatever okay and more or less this is true um, you know, the U.S. never committed its reserves in World War II. We still had, we, um, I say we, I wasn't there, of course, but the U.S. Um, had a basically decided on a 100 division limit to deploying overseas. No more than 100 divisions. And that was based upon the amount of basically liberty ships we had available to supply divisions overseas. Now, also remember, we were sending massive amounts of, well, just food to Britain, but food everywhere. Uh, we were sending all kinds of supplies, you know, from what might be, you know, civilian supplies as well as military supplies. You know, uh, ammo and tanks and whatnot. We were... Um, and we were the main shippers for the stuff coming out of Canada because I think Canada they set up to build Browning high power pistols. The main the John Browning's main apprentice gets evacuated out of Belgium and ends up in Canada and he sets up 
factory producing them there, as well as in the same town they, they produce Bren guns. Well, um, the British use the Browning High Power Pistol, so do the Germans. They keep it in production in Belgium. <coughs> Excuse me. And so those are both going on, and um, the Chinese, which like um, uh, got in the, used to in the 20s uh, shoulder stock pistols as primary weapons, really like that because they sent the 9mm pistols over there with shoulder stocks to China from Canada, and the, they also set up an English Canada uh, Bren gun manufacturing for, for the British Commonwealth, whatever, armed forces, and those were being sent also, you know, to Britain, to Australia, to, well, India had the, um, the Vickers gun, uh, which was very similar to the, the Indian Army adopted and produced the, the Vickers gun, similar to a, a Bren gun. But So I don't know how much Brens from Canada go to India, but they're going everywhere. And there was a need and the ability to um, support uh, more machine guns going into China. I'm just you know showing the logistics ability and the need for Liberty ships here. In that they started producing Bren guns in 8mm Mauser or 7.92 Mauser, the German caliber, because that was the standard caliber used in China. Now they were, we can see a lot of photos of them sending uh, American 30-06 uh, weapons into China, not just the Chinese troops that are, India that, that are in India that get equipped by America, but actually sending stuff into China. But they didn't want to send in British caliber to have one more caliber so they were sent they were making them in um, Canada for for China so the US was shipping all of this stuff all over the world and the US just decided about 100 divisions is about max we can supply and su do all this other supply so the US has more than 100 divisions but they're sitting around the US they're being used as training divisions and so that you know um, you have heavy losses, whether to disease in places like Burma or <clears throat> some of the Pacific Islands or, you know, combat losses in, you know, the Battle of the Bulge or whatever. They were sending out replacements. And I don't know if they ever rotated divisions actually home to the U.S. I just don't know that. But so the U.S. never commits its reserves. Well, obviously, by the end of the war, the Volkssturm and whatever else, they'll the Germans have committed all their reserves. Well, I know I'm illustrating all this and going a long way around it. Is this, and this is very important to this thing, which is partially why, not the only reason, but partially why France loses here in 1940, is this northern attack that's sort of up here going on. Um, draws out the um, French army and the British expeditionary force up into the north up there. And the Germans want to cut that off, and they do, by getting to the um, get to Calais and, you know, the Dunkirk evacuation and all that. Well, once Churchill becomes prime minister, he's flying over back and forth, shuttling, you know, mostly between Paris and London, though eventually the French move there. Um effective capital and command structure. At one point, he asked, what was it, Gamelon? Or I forget the French generals. Um, you know, once this thrust becomes apparent and gets across the Meuse River here, I think this is the Meuse, not this one, I think it's this one, um, gets across here. Well, what about the French Reserve? It's already been committed. It's what's up here. France commits its reserve into Belgium, which is just stupid, ridiculous. They commit their reserve. There is basically no effective reserve. There is obviously the um, troops sitting on the um, Italian frontier, which the French are able to reasonably well defend. Not that there aren't, you know, sometimes the Italians are pushing in, if I remember correctly, a bit. But I think it's just like positions that the French know they don't want to hold, you know, you hold on good places. But basically, there's nothing left in France available to um, 
to deal with this. So they commit their reserves. And that's why <coughs> the Germans win. Because there is no more reserves to commit. And we can talk about, and there's lots down to minutiae of, you know, the problems with, you know, French tank model, you know, designs and that type of stuff. So there's, um, you know, detailed problems like that. But overall, it's they commit their reserves, the reserves. And the problem is, is once you commit your reserves, even if it's winning its battle, shall we say, when you get another thrust somewhere else, there's nothing there to counter it. And you're sort of stuck. And the most of the forces along the French Maginot Line, um, they're not all just, um, you know, troops emanning, you know, high-tech pillboxes or whatnot. But they're also sort of some regular sorts of division. Well, I don't know. Well, there are some regular types of divisions there. But there are also um, a lot of um, divisions just without much transport, meaning wagons literally without wagons so and a division without wagons can't move people because where do you get the food who's carrying your artillery ammo you know so if you have you know how are they getting their food you know in placements well they had trains delivering it but you don't march a division without wagons to to move your food to move your artillery ammo to to tow your at least movable guns so yeah um there was just no way to to redirect forces. Okay. So um, this impotently needs to. Yeah. Okay. We read that. Take your primary objective. Um. Once you are through the forest and over the Meuse River, only two more objectives remain. Okay. And success in the region will put you to in an incredible position against our enemies, but there is no room for failure. All elements of the surprise may have been lost. Okay. Now, again on this whole... Th okay, we have... Um, Burn Hartman, fast retreat. Okay, commander for extraordinary hero heroism while engaging in military operations. Okay, so we have another new, new hero. Now, the Germans never commit their reserves because the Germans have their whole um, warecraft system that you know um is not terribly mobile but it's still there and there's still divisions to be committed and you know hell they, there's they still have all of the the units that are sitting on the eastern front uh you know facing the soviets yeah you pull them off you you, you might have a, some problems but they still have a lot more all that they can do if needed now that doesn't mean they can you know they can just save the situation from being a total collapse okay well first I want to come over here and I yeah let's let's move all of these guys into I think we have the room for okay we're one shy from now hmm we have Panzer 1B. Let's see if we can upgrade him. Okay. 20 at killing infantry, 12 at killing tanks. 12 at killing infantry, 14 at killing tanks. So it's a little better tank killer, which is it should be. Okay, um, it's just the price is what's going to get me to do this cost. Don't quite have enough that I want to do that because we need to, excuse me. Mm. Yep, yeah, regular upgrade. Put the armored car here to 
recon along there. We'll put the um, reconnaissance plane up here. Mostly I'm doing the reconnaissance, reconnaissance plane up north because it's further away from being attacked by other enemy air um, as opposed to just, you know, along. I guess there's no air bases here. I guess not. Well, either way, I don't know that it really matters. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think this may be our slightly for more forward air base. So let's put our air up there, maybe. I'm not sure that that's the best move, but. Hmm. Our infantry is still in a sad, sad state. Okay. Um, we need to upgrade it, but we also need to upgrade a bunch of the or up um, reinforce. I guess we're just going to have to live with green reinforcements. I so want to get these things all start up. That's what makes them a a real kick ass force. Yeah, we just okay. Um, doesn't easily specify which ones are. Unit details. Okay, yeah, this is the one with the. Wish it. <coughs> no, this is still the beta version. I wish it instead of had trucks. I wish it had the armored car or the half track symbol there, so I knew which one was the armored infantry. Okay. Some. I think. Hope you're interested in my thoughts. We're going to have to get to Sedan, and it's across, we're fighting across the river, so that will be the um, primary focus for artillery. We will want an artillery piece north. I'm guessing there's Belgian troops. I, I know there's no um, Luxembourg troops to, to worry about here. Um, okay, we're gonna want the pioneers in the south. Just again, so, <coughs> so you don't think it's just gray blobs. I one person, and I'm not. Man, I don't know. I'm not really s sensitive. I don't think about some of that. But yeah, these. The thing I don't like is the, the three guys all the same. That to me bothers me more than anything else. Um, the models should should have multiple models in there. Um, that's sort of redundant. The models should have multiple versions in there. Okay, um... 
We have artillery in the south, so let's throw in him. He's without trucks. I do want to get him motorized, but... I'm going to not deploy him because, um, oh, wait a minute, yeah, um, yeah, we'll deploy him here. Never mind, we're deploying him. Okay, so that is my deployment. I'm going to actually save this, just in case things go really wrong. And by misclicking or something. Okay, so that's our setup here. Looking like nice clear weather. And we get rain. Lovely. <clears throat> so we don't have any air cover starting out. Okay, nobody there. Well, let's undo this. Might as well drive up and stop and take. Luxembourg, the city or whatever, main town. There we are. Okay. So, we're getting the points for that now. Get our mechanized forces up here. The tanks can get to there, okay. The artillery to here. Ah, that could be a problem. Um, you drive to here. Don't know the, if any of these have any range. I don't think so, but maybe they do. Okay, here. We'll even move our storage now. Um, We haven't seen what's in there, but we can get up here and dismount. Yes, and there's infantry. Okay. So they're going to counterattack us. At least they have that to deal with. Now, let's see. Um... Let's move our A guns sort of near some of that. And these are the just regular, more regular infantry. Okay, um. Now these guys, I want to see if we can afford to upgrade them now. No, no. Oh, no, it's only going to cost 100? Okay, yeah, we'll take this upgrade. We'll do that. Okay, they're stuck there. 
Okay, opening moves, opening moves, opening moves. Hopefully the their counterattacks won't be too harsh. To my advances, end turn. Okay, good. Artillery support. Boom, boom. Oh, we took some losses, but they took heavier. Ah, oh, we ambushed them. Ooh, that was actually very good. Okay, oh, good weather. Good weather, good weather. Okay, that's nice. Um... Archduca can't make it to here, so maybe this was a better option for airbase. But we're gonna get that airbase soon. Okay, let's let's start up here. Oh, we have um. Was thinking of assigning our new hero. Oh no no no, not not terrain. I want unit details, heroes, assign hero. Um, okay. Oh, maybe we're. Um, can we assign hero now? Here. We ain't gonna use. Oh damn! We can't assign the hero now. Maybe I needed to do it before deployment. Oh shoot! Oh well. Okay. Um. Here, he has longer range. Do we want to... Yeah, let's, let's bombard here. Hold it. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm thinking about this. Um... Five... We're going to have you come in and take the city and hopefully take them down. Not entirely. Okay, well. Then you get to follow up so they don't reinforce too well. Okay, well, you can hit here. Boom. And you can maybe move a little bit further, so we'll... No, that doesn't look too profitable. That's just going into a... Cl well, okay. And you can get down to there and maybe move up next turn and hopefully attack. Um, hmm. one down okay we're gonna because he's very I mean they may have enough air to attack both of our units air units but we'll move him up here just oh, oh no 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 that's why I like this nope okay I was wondering if we could do an airstrike you drive off into the forest We have a recon bonus from our reconnaissance unit. Okay, well. Yes, possibly in this, what we call forest and not, um, cause this forest here, um, thick forest versus that. Notice when it does this, just as a warning, um, if you move your unit in here, it strips it of its trucks, at least for the rest of the mission. So you can't load them back up on your, the trucks. Okay, just so that you know. No, we're hoping yes. Now how close can we get? Okay, we can get you to there. So we'll come to here. Through regular forest, you can move vehicles. Thick forest, no. Airbase is now ours. We'll move the AA next to it. It also needs to be...
supported. Um, yeah, you can get to here. Get moving. Okay, not a perfect first real action turn, but... I'll probably try to shoot at those armor cars, hopefully. Maybe that's who should have the fast retreat guy, if I can get him. And, well, they shot at the tanks, which did fairly well, but I wanted to kill that other tank unit instead of have it withdraw. Okay, went up and sh Ooh, that was bad. That was bad. That was better. Okay. Ideally, it would be to have them all grouped together. Ideally, it's to each bomber to be escorted by a fighter. Um, going back to my experience with Panzer General, way back then, I decided, and I may be wrong decision, and I know some people have given some really good tips on air, air operations, but I decided that I wasn't going to try to overwhelm um, the enemy's air, with air power. I was going to use, um, try to get one fighter per bomber. Um, they didn't have the reconnaissance aircraft then, and I, you know, don't know what, if I plan on escorting the reconnaissance aircraft, but, um, have equal number. And just sort of the idea of slowly work down their attack aircraft over time. You know, take it bit by bit. We still haven't taken this Luxembourg town? Okay. But, so, yeah, they will have a bit of air superiority, which I'm going as, well, okay, whatever. Um, you withdraw to here. You move to encircle them. You come up to here. You come to here. They're now encircled. I could we could wait a turn or two for um them to, you know, run out of food and ammo and whatnot. We've got recon, mass attack, advantage. And they retreated off the road. Okay, well. Mm, let's see. Do we have anything else that could... Well, you need to come and attack. Here? No, it's just not probably... Just only going to knock off some morale, but still... Yeah, you come to here. Keep some pressure on them. Hmm. Well, that was actually counterproductive. Oh, well, okay. Should have moved these guys up first. Well. Okay, see, that'll strip them of their trucks, and I don't want to do that. We have a bit of a, well, okay, um, yeah, we need to move you up. Bit of a road jam here. because we got to keep moving. We attack out of the woods. Yep, 
think everything else is moved, so up you go. Very good. Now here, let's see if we can We'll do it with elite reinforcements. We don't, okay, well, let's move our, rebase our reconnaissance aircraft to here, start some rebasing. Get them up forward. Okay, well, we're doing all right. Oh, what are these guys? First, chasseurs Ardennes. Okay, hunters of the Ardennes. They would really, really profit by having. I I know we're looking at it fully zoomed in, so they're a bit angular models, but by just having and these guys, what are these? Um, fourth Belgian infantry, I guess. Um, is that are these French? I guess chasseurs Ardennes. Yeah, what are these? Uh, second chasseurs Ardennes. But that looks, I don't know, Belgian helmets. Hmm. Looks, okay, but, um, would just to have multiple models, it would really help um, within the infantry. I, I really getting sick of these heavy machine gun guys, all three of them. One, one, yeah, one's good. Put in a submachine gun, and I don't know, uh, a rifleman or something. Um, these now, oh no, okay, now these guys, yeah, good. They have their their mountain um, uh, gerbs. Uh, uh, their feldmuts. Okay, their hats that do it by the end of the war become common for all units. Okay, let's see how this goes. The aircraft goes back, comes back for an attack on my reconnaissance. Oh no, they attacked the infantry there. They attacked the infantry there. Or no, they attacked him here. Okay. Fighters are a bit messed up. They're going after my reconnaissance. And we now have rain again. Okay, well... Since we're not going to attack anything else with him, and he'll still be able to move after it, let's just do make sure that oh okay, we'll risk moving the armor up front. Okay, we're not really seeing much. You can get here and unload. You're not on a bridge, but you can't see what's in Sedan. And you can get up here and unload. And come up and protect the artillery. And oh, because it's raining, we can't shoot at them. Okay, well, then that probably means we can. Yeah, we're elite reinforcing him. Okay, well here now, um, hmm, hmm. Not, not in range, so... Well, we'll just move you to there. So I want to just end these guys in one battle. If possible, one attack, yes, there we go. Oh, well, that'll at least recon to there. Oh, there we are. Good thing we didn't push further forward badly. Okay, um, you come to here. You can take this. We'll just get the points and secure that. 
I'm moving him here just so he's next to the AA to discourage air attacks. Yeah, we'll spend the elite reinforcements. I really want to get all these units to be elite status. Core units, that's what I want them all to be. And yes, we'll do that. We'll get you up to there. We'll take this rain opportunity here to elite reinforce you as well. And plus two doesn't go all the way. Plus four. Um, eight probably pretty good for now. Thanks, annoying. There, that goes away, good. Okay, so we push to there. Okay. It'll probably take a big chunk out of this. Out of these teeth. Are these? Yeah, um, 38 teeth. I was wondering if they're 35s, but yeah, they're 38s. 38s are actually a pretty good tank. Yeah, like I said, well, about an even chunk out of each other. Though, of course, that wasn't a so much of a necessary thing. Okay, yeah, you move out of the way to there. You come up to here. You come up through here. Um, that won't ever move enough. That won't move enough this turn to attack. Okay, well, you can attack hopefully without losses. Okay, good. Now that they're, um, no, we're not going to attack anymore. Now we have some artillery. So they're blocking us with just one infantry unit. Oh, boy, I was, well, we may still attack. I was a bit stupid to not, oh, out of range for them, but not for this. That should have happened first, damn. Pay attention to these things. Okay, now this this is a more profitable. Boom. Hurt them a little bit. And they've already moved. Uh, this is probably a better infantry killer. Let's Well If they retreat back, that guy can advance up and hit them. I mean tanks are great for killing infantry, but not so much in forests. There we go. There we go. That that's actually unfortunately I didn't use my bombers as correctly as possible. But to err is to be gamer. <laughs> I make all kinds of problem uh, problematic things. Okay. Um We're going to hmm, do we can we? Yes, we're getting our fighters up to here to protect here. I know they can come to the air, or we want to specifically change air base to here. Okay, so there you get special, you get increased defenses defending at an air base. Okay, let's be well. Let's well. Let's not worry too much about our recon, our aircraft, and let's let's come up and take a look. Okay, hello, anti-aircraft gun, anti-tank gun, artillery. Horses, um, aircraft, and we could have made it a little bit further south. I'm betting there's an artillery piece here. I, I don't know that, meaning I haven't played this far to know that. But um, And, of course, the aircraft there. Okay, well, let's see. Nope, my bet's wrong. No, no artillery piece there. Let's move you somewhat out of the way. Uh, okay, let's move the tank here. We're going to see about crossing the... Oh, just noticed some guys in blue hats. What are these? What are these? Chasseur Alpines. Alpines? Alpines? French Mountain Infantry. Okay. We want to see about crossing the river. 
Hmm. Let's pound on you. Okay, Vermont infantry with trucks. Pioneers, there we go, that's who we want to see about bringing up. I liked it so much better. The earlier versions of the game, either the, the infantry was, and I know many of you know this, i just not sure exactly who my audience is. Um, the infantry were either in their trucks, or uh, as well as artillery, or they were, um, you know, on the ground. So made them very vulnerable to counterattack. Well, I like this better. This is like, so if you're going flat out, doing your whole movement points, whether great distance down a road or crawling through a forest or whatever, though sometimes it's just better to walk through the forest. But if you're going your full movement distance, you're still in your trucks if you're attacked. But if you just move part of your movement distance, you can get out of your trucks to um, to deal with that. Okay, we want to bring up our, our artillery and we want to bring up this infantry. Okay. Here, just because we are next to our, though we should up or reinforce that. Okay, and. Our Stukas have moved. They're there. Yeah, we're just going to walk these guys forward. Okay, well, we know there's no... I'm, yeah, I'm not sure about up there. Hmm. Okay, these guys have all moved. Okay. Just checking. So we know what's ahead of us here. We're going to move him to here. Just hold along the edge of the forest. I'm not sure if they see see him there. Just thinking maybe I'm ambushing. If they like bring their horses or their infantry up. But that aircraft very likely could have spotted him. Which means they get shot all to hell. Okay. That did not go so well. And that's rather resilient. Okay, yeah, you're doing your job, though. I wish you were more. Okay, we're now into the rain. Well. Huh. How far can you go? Hmm, I don't know. what We can save him because we can move him all the way back to there. Okay, we're going to move you here. That's a bad spot for you, I know. Moving up the artillery that will reinforce any counterattacks against it. Um, we're going to move you onto the bridge, which is a. But we're moving you up here. Um, yeah, we will bombard. That way, if there are counterattacks, they do have artillery. Move up to support our. Well, we can't shoot at them because it's raining. That's right. They can probably only. S well, it might be more reconnaissance. I don't know. No, we can probably only see one. I'm just hoping to ambush them, so we're moving these guys back. Next to the AA guns, as I didn't plan, it just happened. Okay, um... Okay, these are our best infantry killing. I'm going for it, since there wasn't anybody spotting before there tanks 
no, no. Yep, yep. I might see about hand adding trucks to them. Okay. Oh, we can't even rebase in the rain. Damn. Well, we can take this opportunity to. Um, we'll regular reinforce you. Okay. There we go. Not great, but if we can break out onto the open plains, it'll be better for the tank and surrounding. Sit down. See? Boom. Oh, it did hurt my artillery considerably. And. did reasonably good there. I mean, they got hurt a bit, but they did reasonably good. Okay, good. Good weather. Okay, we're going to need to bring these guys forward and airbase. No, no, no. I wanted to bring you up to the airbase here. There. And there we go. To the closer airbase. Very good. Ah, we don't want to get trapped, but they're about ready to get munched one fashion or another. Okay. Out of the riverbed. Okay, they're devastated. If they attack there, it won't go so well, but there it might go a bit better. Unfortunately, they didn't retreat out. Okay, well, yeah, that's not looking good for them. Yeah, if they move it to move up to here, they can shoot there. Okay, we see that that is empty, so we're going to get grab that. Oh, they can hit them there. Very good. They're encircled. I want the pioneers back here, but I think they'll be useful there. Okay, they retreat to there, and now we can hopefully come and Smash them hard. Yeah, they get to shoot at us. Well, we lose a little more than I was thinking. But now they're in the deep forest there. Okay, well. They've moved. They get to come to here. Okay. Um, well, we can't upgrade... in a supply hex. Oh, I thought you could do it at one of these main things. So we can only upgrade if they're coming from a supply hex back here, okay. Or here, I guess. Okay, oh, okay, so I'm learning. I'm, you know, guys, you know, a few people have like, yeah, don't you know the game better? But yeah, well, I'm learning it too. Um, supply hexes, I guess, are these things that have a circle in it, and victory hexes uh, are the 
outlined hexagon hexes. Okay, so we could upgrade them here, but not there. All right, well, that informs us, but we can... Um, yeah, we'll re reinforce you, which means we only get to move to here, and you get to move up to here. Do our fighters, oh, okay, our fighters can... Well, these are the Stukas, the fighters we just, we rebase, that's right. Okay, we're not gonna send up our Stukas unescorted at this time, so... You got munched. Yeah. Oh, they're encircling us. We're encircling them, sort of. Kind of. Ooh, that was bad. Wasn't so bad. Okay, well. Ho, 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 okay. Now let's go to the fields here, clear area, and shoot into the forest and kill these guys since we overran the other guys. There we go. That cleans up our flank big time. Um, I think retreat is the order of the day here. Now here it is to um, shoot at these guys. Don't move at the moment. Now, if we were to come to here, shoot at them. I think those are much more bombers than fighters. Okay, you guys. Yeah, kill these guys off. Hopefully just completely kill them off. And don't burn all of the Ardennes down, just part of it. I want to protect this artillery from being directly attacked. So it's not, not my want to go to move, but the one we're going to do. Well, we're doing okay, I think, for turn eight. Not finished the turn eight, no, but... Is there anything escorted that we can attack with this guy now? They're getting pretty weak with their fighters, so I think we will... make an impression. I know we're not actually attacking. Oh. Okay. Well, we learned that they have anti-aircraft guns. Now, strategic bombers, as they're calling these guys, don't take nearly the damage that um, dive bombers, because presumably altitude. So they'll get hurt a bit more, but it won't be so bad. So I know to keep my air away from there for now. And we'll focus down here in future. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking the videos. If you haven't already, will you subscribe to the channel? And, of course, I really love hearing from you. Um, yep, 
tips even if someone's already given them you can give them to me again sometimes i pay attention to them sometimes i don't learn from them you know um, but others may learn from them uh, as well as just learning from my mistakes so see you next time for more historical gaming